These are the best Adopt Me house builds. From crazy castles to builds made by official Adopt Me staff, today I'll show you it all. Starting off with this giant castle glitch build. This is a Halloween themed mansion and it looks amazing. All of these builds are glitch builds which involve going and escaping out of your regular house. We have this giant scarecrow, and this player has recreated the whole asylum and actual mini games from the Halloween event. So let's go and test them out. Oh wait, it doesn't teleport you. Unfortunately, that would be really cool though. Let's now go and enter onto the inside of this to find out what is actually inside. Inside is some of the craziest things you have ever seen. But you might question, why is this crazy? Well, these things on the walls are not a regular painting that's inside of Adopt Me. These are custom handmade. Now, the way that a player goes and makes these is by going and placing a giant block and then shrinking it down. You know how you can rescale things in Adopt Me? Well, this player got a regular block and rescaled it until it was one pixel big and did that 300 times which is why there's sometimes tiny little gaps because you can't be exactly perfect and actually made these artworks. Apparently this ghost took 360 blocks on its own. I mean, that would take up a lot of building space and a lot of bugs, but I've never seen anyone do anything like this before. So it's a pretty cool idea for you to try. They've also gone and replicated this giant ghost area featuring three ghosts and it looks like something from the actual Halloween event. A Christmas build. This is a simple small house build, but it is fully decorated very nicely. Look, there's a Santa. There is a nice list. Can you make it on the nice list? Be sure to like and subscribe to be on it. And in here, there is um, a bunch of other decorations. There's some little cookies for Santa or a pet if you're lucky. Um, probably bucks if anything, but this is a nice, smallly decorated Christmas themed house, which is pretty simple, but really effective. And I kind of want one now. The next house is a giant dome castle. Inside of the dome is a insane looking castle. This thing is absolutely amazing and fully furnished, which means it's all decorated amazingly well and has interiors full of separate rooms. Also, there's a giant dragon on the top, like a crazy looking dragon that breathes fire. I don't even know how you make a fire breathing pet. So this dragon alone is really awesome, but the fact that this whole castle is handcrafted and not an actual house is what will blow you away. The inside of the castle is fully decorated and looks extremely expensive, like there's gold everywhere. It kind of looks like an actual mansion. There are separate rooms, there are secret undergrounds, and all of these things are fully functional, so you can go and age your pets up in here. I can only imagine how many bucks all of this stuff would have cost you, and I can definitely say that my house looks terrible in comparison. But this castle even has its own farm, and also features a funny looking horse. It also features a waterfall and a bridge. And on the other side is an archery area and a lots of fun decoration. The whole location is very much themed around a castle and medieval. This is the Adopt Me Mall. It is a mall made for Adopt Me and it features a giant sculpture on the outside. The sculpture kind of reminds me of a Rubik's Cube. This is a giant build and it's literally giant. I've never seen someone try to make a mall in Adopt Me. The sign alone is pretty cool and it features a giant sculpture. And then obviously there is this giant building as well. Unfortunately, it is not furnished as of yet. It seems to be a work in progress, but I can definitely see this being an amazing build once this thing is finished. An Adopt Me party house. This one is a very fully decorated house on the island house. Let's go and check it out and see what is on the inside. So on the island house, you can go and build what you like, how you like it. In here seems to be a TV and a library. Obviously, none of this actually exists. You have to go and build the whole structure yourself since there is no actual house at all. Which does mean you get to go and decide how big, for example, you want the kitchen to be or how big you want anything to be because you're literally in charge of the whole house because you have to build the structure for it. You have to build the bricks. You have to build literally everything since this is on the sandbox island. 
The fact that this thing was completely built without any type of template is what's actually really impressive. Because they're literally building this with no structure and it looks like an actual house does. Let's go and look around the rest of the island. Apart from the house, there seems to be these two giant water slides. And believe it or not, you can have a functioning water slide in Adopt Me. Sit on it, then jump and have fun. Let's go and test this out for ourselves. All we have to do is press E to go and sit on this section, press yourself, and then you're upside down. Honestly, I don't know how you go and recreate this, but it does look pretty funny looking. All right, time to go and test out the slide and find out what it looks like. As you can expect, it kind of just yeets you off into the water as if an actual water slide did it, you know? Let's go and test it out one more time without free cam. If you don't know what free cam is, that's the thing that I've been using to go and fly around all of these houses. Adopt Me actually gave me this, don't worry, I am not hacking. But this is a pretty cool build and I do like the slide. This is an Adopt Me pet zoo featuring tons of Mega Neon pets which are extremely rare. This player has decorated their whole house themed around it. It's really well decorated, features a bunch of of flowers and even has its own fashion show. Can you remember the fashion show in Adopt Me? Well, they were originally meant to add it. I've never seen this idea before, but making two really large posters and combining them together to make a really fun backdrop. They have even made an aquarium, which features a squid and a few surprise mega neon pets, which I'm gonna challenge you to try and find in the comments. So comment what pets you can see, as there is literally so many hidden within this little area. This is a really fun way to display your pets that you've worked hard for. This is Matt. Matt is staff and at Adopt Me, like he's got this little butterfly next to their name. So let's go into a house tour of some of Adopt Me staff's members. We're gonna check out Matt and also Jesse from Adopt Me to find out what does their house actually look like. So inside here, we have a pretty nicely decorated house. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is like custom decorated by Matt himself. And I'm just kind of hiding in the corner. I'm not sure he knows that I am hiding in the corner. He just looked at me though, but it's fine. Me and Matt also share the same name. My name is also Matt. In case you're wondering how did I go and join them, well, I saw Adopt Me was live streaming and you can see that I am uh, in the corner of the live stream trying to spy on his house, which um, clearly he must have noticed, which is slightly funny, but we're here to spy on their house. It doesn't seem there was a glitch build in this house. Maybe it was just to go and showcase for a video, but this house is nicely decorated. This might be what the default house decoration is. However, I'm not too sure. What I can tell you next is Jesse's house. Jesse has been a part of Adopt Me for a very long time. He's the person who hosts the weekly news. And this house is definitely decorated by Jesse themselves. Featuring some candy themed decorations and a nice wallpaper, this place does look pretty interesting. Again, they've got the pet box out, which unfortunately had no pet in. We've got some nice posters and a nicely decorated house. Upstairs, there is just a regular bedroom and in here, there is a carousel. Is that a shower? Honestly, I don't know. It doesn't seem there was any glitch builds or anything top secret that we should be looking for in Jesse's house. It seems to be just like a regular house. Which is cool, and I'm pretty sure all of the Adopt Me staff have tons of different houses. And also, they have no idea that I'm touring their house in this video. So, thanks for letting me secretly tour your house, guys, if you're watching. So, that seems to be all of Jesse's house. There is definitely nothing on the glitch part. This build is literally insane. They have recreated a giant adoption island, but actually made it better. I've made a few videos about this, but we have to feature it in this video with the new flying tools. There is a giant pink castle in this island. But not only is there a giant pink castle, there is so much more, such as an actual fairground area with working rides, and a giant area that replicates all of Adoption Island, and even a McDonald's. But first, let's check out their campsite. Apparently, unfortunately, it doesn't actually go and give you the camping task, as awesome as that would actually be. But they have gone and replicated the sleeping tents and also the showers, which basically recreates the whole of the campsite, but in their own home. Time to check out McDonald's. I've never seen a McDonald's in Adopt Me that is actually really accurate and well made, so let's go and check this out. So let's actually go ahead on the inside and see if this is furnished. And wow, this actually looks like a real McDonald's does. And there is a Happy Meal, like an actual Happy Meal. And then there's an ice cream machine 
that's as broken as always, which is a, a life struggle. If you ever go to a McDonald's, 90% of the time, the ice cream machine is broken. Anyway, back here, we've got some burgers on the side. We also have, I, I don't know, maybe that's a mop to clean the floor, and then an oven. So this is actually decorated. It features the Happy Meals and features seating and like an actual plant plus ordering screens. In the UK, this is how you order your McDonald's. You tap on the little touchscreen devices. There's even an upstairs seating area. This thing is literally a replica of what my local McDonald's practically looks like. This island also has a working train to travel around. You have to go and purchase a ticket for five bucks and then you board the actual train and this train will travel you around the map. Once all of the players are inside of this train, it will actually start to move and follow a certain track. This is a really fun experience and they're really creative ideas. Like, no many players would think of making a working train track inside of their own home that features multiple routes and actual train stations where you go and stop off. It's a really creative idea and it makes actual sense. So if you ever get bored, I guess you could build a giant train track around the whole of your adoption island. I found a palace and it says it's private and there is no access, but good news is I can fly and bypass all of those rules. This palace is private, if you enter you'll be blocked. Well the thing is, I'm sneaking in. They don't know I have this fly tool because for them it looks like I'm standing still. So thanks for adopt me for letting me illegally enter their house. And here we have a nice pink and purple decorated themed house. It is all very nicely decorated. So this is a secret mansion that literally no one has ever looked inside, probably because it's meant to be secret. So hopefully Tinker does not mind. But I think we should all agree that Tinker is literally an amazing builder. Plus they're extremely creative. Again, this player also has an aquarium and it seems to, wait, a mega neon turtles inside. That is an expensive pet to leave on a pet display. There's also a many mackerel, and is that a Nemo? But look look at all those little many mackerels. There's a Nemo, and also I think there was an octopus that I spotted in there, which is kind of cool. When I say Nemo, I mean clownfish, okay? But calling it Nemo is just more fun. There's this really cool cat sculpture. I'm not sure if that's just something rescaled. And then a nicely decorated house. There's unicorns and a giant kitchen. So if anyone was wondering what's inside of a giant pink palace, there you go, that is the interior of a restricted location where literally nobody is meant to enter. These are some Mega Neon pets, and they're pretty cool, I've never seen a Mega Neon Lima in Adopt Me, and they're just using it as house decoration. It seems all of these pets are named, there seems to be a missing Bat Dragon, this one has gone missing, but it has the most crazy pet wear accessories I've ever seen, I didn't know you could put that many on. There's also a Neon Giraffe somewhere on this island, and a Neon Frost. I used to have a Neon Frost, but then I traded it away. And I kind of am sad that I don't have a Neon Frost Dragon anymore. So if anyone has one, please let me know, as mine's gone. This means there's only one house left at all. My own house in Adopt Me. What might look like a regular Adopt Me house is actually full of tons of secret things such as on the other side of this house is actually the glitch build and how anyone can get into it. I have special sections for my challenge videos. This was from the video where I opened my own free Adopt Me pet shop, where I literally gave everyone free Adopt Me pets. All this is a giant crazy obby that is really difficult to go and complete, but if you go and do it, then you go and get free pets. So not only are my houses used for houses, they're also used for challenge videos. Where some of these obbies I literally can't even go and do myself because they're just simply too difficult for me. And yet, yeah, some even have punching bags to literally knock you off the obby, so you have to start from the beginning. But my main home that you'll probably see in videos is this one right here. You know that Santa from earlier? Well, believe it or not, I actually copied it. You can just copy and paste stuff from other people's islands, which is funny. Um, and over here, we have a giant polar bear. So there's not too much crazy stuff on my island, but I think this is a really cute polar bear. And I like how this looks. And the rest of my island is just kind of covered with candy. You want to know why? Because candy is my star code. If you buy Robux or premium or a gift card, use star code candy. 
Comment what your dream pet is and adopt me, and I'm going to select a few people to get it for free. You need to watch this video next where I test one star Roblox games. You're going to absolutely love this video, so click here right now to go and watch it. I dare you to.